Hello, this is Wes with BearingGreenTeam.com. I am uh, going to take you through a house we recently did with a uh, Daikin RMXS 48. Uh, that is the Super Multi 8 head unit. We did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 heads. It's <laughs> hard to remember. Um, on this unit, uh, one of the biggest things was, of course, the efficiency of the Daikin is well above uh, Mitsubishi or Fujitsu on the branch box system, but um, the other thing is that the, uh, if I can get my hand in here, the line set, you only need one line coming off the unit, which is real important in this one, because we don't want five, I would have had a whole, would have taken up this whole entire wall with speedy channel and cost if I would have done all the heads running up and I would have had to have two outdoor units, etc. But at 11.3 HSPF, this beats any of the other multi-units, and around here qualifies for higher rebates, um, etc. And it's just better because it's more efficient, uh, etc. But there's that. I'll take you up there so you can hear it running. Noise volume is about the same as what you'd expect from a ductless. This has two condenser fans. Unit will blow about 3,000 CFM. The reason why it's a double stack, uh, Fujitsu kind of learned their lesson. They went with a single, larger fan, but the fan was coming off of its hinges because it has to, the RPMs are just too much. So we have a double stack unit, split that fan speed so everything stays nice and dependable. All right, so I'll take you inside. Now this house is radiant heated, so everything came from the attic. Um, we most, mostly dealt with the top floor in, a, in an office room. But, so this was mainly for cooling, and then we're going to use the ductless on the shoulders. I come in here, so this is the office space. There's our head there. That was all attic back there, so that makes that one easy to both get our line set to and drain. And I'll show you the branch boxes here. We also installed a fresh air system in the house. Um, it was super tight and needed ventilation. So that's our Posi Pro system with uh, MERV 16 filtration. But there's one of our registers there. We just came in from the attic. For the main living area, we have a large head up here and if you go to my web channel you'll see kind of why we did that but here's if I can get it so I'm in the kitchen now and so you can see how we're bringing that air down into the lower floor plus we're coming from the other side with that unit here I'll also take care of this side all right And so coming upstairs, again, everything's from the attic. We had this unit in here. Okay, So this is a kid's bedroom. And this bedroom was kind of unique. It's got like a secret compartment back here and stuff. So I uh, increased the size for that. And this side's south facing, so it got the same unit. No secret compartment. There's our unit there. This one did have to have a pump in it, um, an internal pump. You may have seen some other videos where we have the external pump. We did an internal one just because of the spacing and uh, requirement there, but perfect. And then my new favorite is the 2x2, two two, which is this one here. Any of the Daikin Multis can have this 2x2. Two it is a little more expensive, but works awesome. In this case, you know, the idea was, you know, our competitors were thinking an outside wall. I think it was that one. Um, this wall, from an inside standpoint, would have worked. But the problem is, is that I've got the both the master, and I've got this bathroom, skylight, etc. So I really wanted to hit both those spaces. Plus, uh, by doing everything through the attic and with our guys, uh, we didn't have to have anything on the outside of the house, which is awesome. Okay.
and then up here, oh, I'll show you this. And so this is our um, control for this unit, for the 2x2, two two, and this is our variable speed control for our Posi Pro system. Let me see if I have... Now I'll do a part two with the branch boxes in the attic. I'll show you the attic and the uh, Posi Pro. Thanks for watching.